Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? What are their intentions and next possible actions? We'll cover all of that in this reading. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every single Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirit, what do we need to know for Aquarius? What's going on between Aquarius and their person? What is going on between Aquarius and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What's going on in the connection between Aquarius and their person? What's going on in this connection between Aquarius and their person? Five of Swords reverse, okay. What else can you tell us about what's going on in this connection between Aquarius and their person? Ace of Swords reverse. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yikes. Something happened here. Either there was a fight or something that was kept from another person. Maybe there was deception here or just a, just an argument of some sort. Let's see, what's this Ace of Swords reversed about? And it was very painful or heartbreaking for someone, disappointing. What's this Ace of Swords reversed about? Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? The Moon reverse, yeah. Something, Pisces energy, something came to the surface. Something was revealed. Um, something was being, was like, through this conflict, someone was able to see a situation clearly or um, you discovered that someone was lying to you or keeping something from you. That was like the revelation. And I say someone because this is what's going on in your connection right now, Aquarius. Both of your energies are here. So flip it if it resonates, but, or, you know, apply it. Take it into, how, what am I trying to say? Take it as it fits, I guess. So, you know, I'm trying to just say what the energies are and then you can put yourself in whatever position you feel comfortable in. Um, but I feel like th this was something that was kind of a revelation, but in a bad way. Tell me about this Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? King of Swords. So this could be um, someone trying to maybe talk about this, come forward, maybe they wanna be honest now or be honest about what happened. Three of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This could be you wanting to um, talk things out or get to the bottom of something. Tell me about the King of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay, well. <laughs> Chariot reverse, Nine of Swords reverse, Cancer energy with the Chariot reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. I feel like someone decided to walk away or will walk away from this whole thing, this whole situation. I'm almost getting like someone wanting to talk this out and the other person is kind of like their back is turned. Tell me about the Moon reverse. What's this about? Why is the moon king of wands reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Ten of cups reverse. So I feel like someone jumped into something or made a mistake. The king of wands reverse for me is somebody that their ego gets them in trouble. Um... They kind of want what they want and they don't care what they affect or what the consequences are in a way. Um, they tend to have a temper, you know, outbursts, things like that. Um, 
But what I what I see here more than anything is someone that it was only a matter of time before they got caught because they didn't do things right. I feel like this could also be somebody that had a family situation or just it was very heartbreaking. Um, they broke someone's heart or they really broke like a family or something like that. Three of Wands. The High Priest is reversed. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before this was revealed, basically, Aquarius. Something happened here or is going to be happening in this connection um, where there's going to be a major revelation or someone will be kind of called out in a way. Because the King of Wands Reverse is somebody that they act and, and on impulse, they don't think things through. They kind of want what they want when they want it and things tend to blow up in their faces because of that someone it feels walking away from this whole scenario like this whole situation or is thinking about it like i'm too good for this or i don't want to deal with this so let's get some more insight into what you're thinking about each other what's going on between you oops spirit give me some insight into aquarius and their person what are their energies in this connection? What are their energies? Tell me about Aquarius. What, it, what energy is Aquarius bringing to this connection? Tell me about Aquarius. Divine timing. Trust in divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Now, Aquarius, I'm going to have you on one side. And their energy on the other, feel free to flip the um, energies if they resonate more. Victory lap and then unexpected event at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's going to be a tower. But I don't know. It's almost like what I'm getting here is like your person either thinks that they'll be able to fix this. Or they thought they had it. They thought they, they had this kind of like on lock is what I'm thinking. Like they thought that they were going to be, you know. Even though this tower has happened, I feel like this person thinks it's going to still be okay for them, in a way. Let me see if I can get one more. Can I get one more energy for Aquarius? Whoa. Can I get one more energy for Aquarius, please? One more energy for Aquarius. Yeah, sudden realization. I feel like you're the one that found this out or realized something about this connection or this person. And it was only a matter of time. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. Falling leaves, time changes everything. Okay, so let me get some secret moon oracles here. Tell me more. Tell me more about Aquarius and this person's spirit. Tell me more about, whoa, hold on. That was too many. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius and the energy they're bringing to this connection. I have changed, yep. Tell me more about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? You are my soulmate. I can't let you go. I don't want to lose you. Okay. So Aquarius, I think you are, what you're realizing about this person is changing the way you feel or think about this person. So whatever you figured out or whatever you've getting, you're realizing now, whatever truth is coming out, I think you're, you're different because of it. The way that you feel is different. The way that you approach this connection is probably different. And I don't think this person is ready for this. Like, I don't think they realize that, you know, they're probably going to lose you here. And they're going to lose someone that they feel is a soulmate. Um, they can't let you go, according to this here, this energy. Um, but I don't think it's going to be up to them. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius. 
and what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to this connection to this person. Three of Wands. I think you have suspicions, um, Aquarius. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands reverse at the bottom of the deck. I think you're just waiting. It was it's almost like you're waiting to for confirmation, or you're waiting for something to come in to almost like uh, reassure you in a way. Um, maybe you're even giving this person the men the benefit of the doubt, but I don't think this is a situation where the benefit of the doubt really changes things, right? I think this is someone that you felt a strong connection with, but with an, and maybe you have some sort of even attachment to this person. Um, but I think this is changing because I have the 10 of wands reverse here. Tell me about this nine of pentacles reverse. This is someone that's not free, not independent. They are dependent, attached. Tell me about the nine of wands, not the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles reverse, please, for Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune reverse, Three of Pentacles reverse. So there could have been a third party situation here or karmic situation. Something that just wasn't working. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse. You were waiting for something from this person that I don't think happened. And I think you're tired of waiting. Or you realize that what you're waiting for isn't going to happen because of a specific thing. And I think that's this big reveal. I think something hasn't been working in this connection for a while. Let me know if that's the case, Aquarius. You know, is there some in, in the comments? Um, you can let me know if you'd like. Um, is there a third party? And is that why things aren't moving forward? Because I feel like you have realized it's almost kind of like ironic the more you wait the less you want to be in this connection you know and maybe the reason that you you've been waiting is because you believe in divine timing and because you believe that divine timing is a thing in this connection like maybe this is your twin flame or something like that if you believe in that but i feel that this reveal is almost like this sudden realization has caused you to change, you know? So even if you started with like this belief in divine timing and this is just, like your soulmate, I think you're starting to realize something big about this person or this connection, you know? Now the Knight of Pentacles reverse for me as a reader, they, they tend to make it to their destination eventually. They're just delayed, blocked, you know? But I have a feeling that a lot of you are tired of waiting. Like you're just tired of waiting, I think. Because I feel like while you've waited, there you haven't really gotten anything in return for this. Can I get one more, please, overall energy for Aquarius and what they're thinking, feeling about this person, this connection? Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. I think you're just over this. There's a Ten of Cups reverse. It's almost like you're over being disappointed, heartbroken, feeling left out, abandoned, feeling like you're always struggling. I think you just want this to be over in a way. Tell me about Aquarius's person. Tell me about the, the person Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies when it comes to Aquarius? or this connection? What is this person's energies when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? The lovers reverse Gemini energy. What is this person's energies when it comes to Aquarius? Page of Wands reverse. Can I get one more? What are their energies when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? The sun. Well, the Page of Wands reverse is telling, is reminding me of that King of Wands reverse. The Page of Wands reverse tends to take one step forward, two steps back. They don't really take initiative or they rush things. Too reckless, too risky, too impulsive. It backfires. 
Why the lovers reverse? Gemini energy here. Why the lovers reverse? Five of swords, yep. I feel like this person damaged a partnership because of the deception or the the five of swords is really a card of someone kind of playing dirty they're not playing fair they take advantage of a situation um it's very selfish the five of swords tell me about the page of wands reverse why is the page of wands reverse eight of cups reverse Hey, can I get one more for the Page of Wands reverse? Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Six of Wands. Yeah, this is your person's energy. They think that they'll be able to stop you from leaving or get you back, bring you back. They think that they're going to be able to do this, Aquarius. And maybe for some of you, they will be. Maybe they will win you back, right? Maybe they'll convince you that they're serious, right? I don't really see that in the cards, but maybe that's in the future right um but i feel like this this wish of theirs i don't think it's going to happen or this desire of winning you back is very self-involved it's self it's, it's 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 almost like this person would want this to happen they would want you back to service themselves or you, i hope that makes sense i'm trying to come up with like the right term right? I just don't have the words. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, but I feel like it, it, it's somebody that they're only doing this for themselves at the end of the day. Why the sun? Just be very careful. Why the sun? We will be looking at this person's true intentions in a, in a minute here. So we'll be able to see. I saw the magician reverse. I really hope that... That's not the energy that comes out. It's not. That's not very good. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Mm. The tower reverse. Yeah. This person is trying to avoid the tower from falling all around them. I think they're holding on to this, like, they're holding on to you. They don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. And I feel like that's true, Aquarius. But the why is very important. Why don't they want to lose you, right? I think the sun is almost like... I mean, it could be that this... At first, when I put it down, I was like, well, maybe this person thinks that you or 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 this person feels you make them very happy right maybe this person thinks that you know i'm so happy around aquarius aquarius makes me happy but i didn't want to say that because for me as a reader the sun can also be clarity radiance right brightness you, you're able to see everything and since the moon reverse came out high priestess reverse came out you know, clarity and realizations are very important in this reading. So this, what this is telling me with the sun and all these other cards here is that whatever they were holding on to or whatever tower moment is here that they're avoiding, it's still going to be out. I hope that I'm making sense because I feel like my, my mind is going a mile a minute and I, it's like, I can't get like my thoughts together. <laughs> So I really hope that I'm not confusing anybody. Spirit, tell me about this person's true intentions. Well, actually, let's first find out what do we need to know about this person. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is dealing with, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Virgo ruled by Mercury. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is also like the Hermit card. Um, what I'm getting here with this card, um, Virgo or Hermit, the Hermit, I'm thinking of somebody that's, that's doing a lot of thinking. And I'm also thinking of someone who has no access to you. They're away from you, which makes sense because 
I feel like I don't want to lose you is because, or, you know, I can't let you go is because maybe they've already caused a rift here. That won't resonate for everyone, but I feel like this person, you're probably not talking or dealing with this person at this time. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is dealing with? Sudden wealth and a message at the bottom of the deck. Let me look at this one, number 11. Okay. Success, gain, or profit. Secure partnership. A bonus. So I feel like this is like the victory lap card is how, kind of how I'm seeing this. I feel like this person thinks when they contact you, they'll be able to win, if that makes sense. Let me get one more. And then I wanna look at your person's true intentions. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's true intentions. Or what do we need to know about them, just in general? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? The fox, oh, very clever, very strategic, very smart, intelligent. And then there's the bear at the bottom of the deck, which is all about a new beginning. So basically, you know, again, I feel like this person's energy is very clear. I'm going to just pick a couple of cards for their true intentions here. But I really feel like this person is really thinking away from the noise, away from everybody. How can I win back Aquarius? How can I get them on my side again? How can I strategically fix this, right? Because they don't want to lose you. What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions, Spirit? Page of Swords, reverse. What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? Knight of Swords, okay. Be very careful what they say. They're not gonna tell you everything. I feel like what they tell you and this is going to sound crazy. What they tell you is the truth. But there's more to it. Does, does that make sense? They're going to be very honest about their feelings, I feel, Aquarius. I think they're going to tell you straight up how they feel. And, and maybe they'll apologize. Maybe they'll be very honest with you. But I feel like there there's a missing piece there. You don't know why. Wh what is the why of their honesty? So be very careful. I, I feel like their intention is to be honest, but there's still something you, you're not aware of. 